In this section, we take a look at an introduction to printing. In a ZenApp environment, all printing is initiated by the user on the ZenApp server. However, print jobs are not always sent directly from the server to the printing device. Instead, print jobs can be redirected through the client device. Because there is no persistent workspace for users in ZenApp, in other words, when a session ends, the user's workspace is deleted, all settings need to be rebuilt at the beginning of each session. As a result, each time a user starts a new session, ZenApp must reprovision the printers available in that session. Having said that, it is possible to provide persistence to user printing preferences in ZenApp. When a user clicks print, ZenApp determines what printers to provide to the user. This is known as printer provisioning. ZenApp restores the user's printing preferences and determines which printer is the default for the session. An important concept in ZenApp is the printing pathway. The term printing pathway encompasses both the path by which print jobs are routed and the location where print jobs are spooled. Both aspects of this concept are important. Routing affects network traffic and spooling affects utilization of local resources on the device that processes the job. In ZenApp, print jobs can take two different pathways, through the network or through the client. The term network printing pathway refers to print jobs that are routed from the farm server hosting the user's session to a print server and spooled remotely. The term server local printer refers to a configuration that uses the network printing pathway where printing devices are attached locally to a ZenApp farm server. The term client printing pathway refers to print jobs that are routed over the ICA protocol through the client device to the printer, either a printer connected directly to the client device or connected through a print server and spooled on the Citrix online plugin. When using the client printing pathway, a virtual printer is constructed in the session that redirects to the printer object on the client device. While client printers are often printers physically attached to client devices, they can also be printers on the network. In this case, print jobs are routed through the client device to the print server. The process is the same as for printing to a local printing device through the client. However, instead of sending a job to the client device, the job is sent to the network print server. For a computer to process a print command, it needs both the required printer object and a printer driver. Because sessions are hosted in a virtual workspace instead of a locally on a hard drive, printers and their drivers are not stored on the local computer. Instead, they are restored at logon or reconnect. The process by which ZenApp makes printers available in a session is known as provisioning. You can control provisioning for printers, and the way you configure it affects what printers users see in the sessions and the speed of the printers. There are two types of printer provisioning, static and dynamic. In static provisioning, server local printers are provisioned only once when you connect them to the farm server. After that, they are always created in sessions with the same properties and do not vary according to policies. Dynamic printers are available in a session and are determined as the session is built. As a result, they can change according to changes to policies, changes in user location, and changes to the network. When printers are provisioned dynamically, the printers that appear in a session are not predetermined and stored. Rather, the printers are assembled based on policies when the session is built. When the client printer redirection policy is set to enabled, autocreation automatically creates all printers on a user device. In the next section, we learn how to assign printers and work with printer drivers.